one day. And uh, I just mentioned in my last video a little <coughs> thumping, clunking sound on my Bronco, okay? It's only when you back up, back up and hit the brakes, something cunk. Okay, so I've been trying to figure that, haven't been able to figure it out so far, but there is a very common problem with these trucks. I've got a lot of comments on that. Oh, that's common on these trucks. Yeah, there was a problem uh, with the transfer case. Well, a thump or clunk on takeoff. It actually feels like something's rolling around in the back of your truck, you know. When you take off, you feel something. When you come to the stop, <laughs> you feel it again. Had that when I first got the Bronco, okay. I took it back to the dealer like four times. They said it was the ring and pinion gears. They said it was the transmission mount. They said it was the radius arm bushings. I finally fixed it on my own. I did some research. So this is like from 2001 Gears Magazine from the American uh, oh no, it's Automatic Transmission Builders Association. It's got a whole article here on transfer cases, transfer case issues, right? So here it is right here. I saved it. I was just digging through a bunch of papers I got here. I got stacks of, of information here, you know, just... I, got, I wonder if I still have that. Yeah, here it is. Even gives you some part numbers here, but it says common complaint of the 1356 transfer case that's the Borg Warner BMW BW Borg Warner 1356 transfer case is that it will sometimes exhibit a driveline thump or clunk on takeoff. It says many shops have spent considerable time balancing drive shafts, replacing U joints, mounts, etc., without success. The problem lies inside the transfer case itself. A careful examination of the rear output shaft will reveal excessive end play between the shaft and the rear bearing. There's the rear bearing of the snap ring holding the shaft in place, which you take the cover off there. Okay, so they're saying there's end play in there. Okay, and between the rear bearing and the extension housing. So the housing, the cover, you got the bearing underneath, a snap ring. Okay, so, it says, uh, okay, you should use shims to take up the end plate between the output shaft and the rear bearing, a retaining snap ring. It says, for that you can use Chrysler part number 0015128. It's a shim kit. Shims, just thin sheet, yeah, different thicknesses. Okay, I had a set, I probably threw them away. And that will take care of the play between the bearing and the snap ring. And then you're going to take care of the play in the bearing to the housing, right? Figure eight shows how to take up slack between the rear output bearing and the extension housing using a spicer shift kit, uh, shim kit off of Dana 35 pinion. It says, uh, let's see, by using these methods to fix the end play of the output shaft, you will solve many problems that have baffled dealers and other repair shops for years. Yeah. I did this to my problem a long time ago and it took care of that problem. So, what I'm hearing now is another problem. That was just a little feel. You could feel a little thump when you take off when you stop. This here is, is when you back up and reverse and hit the brake. Sounds like something binding and breaking loose. Punk. Oh uh, yeah. So just for your information, because I know people have, have sent me emails before about that. Where did I get the shims or what are they? But if you look at the picture closely there, maybe I'll put this on my computer. The guy's holding the snap ring. The snap ring goes on the shaft between the bearing and the shaft there. Okay, so you put a shim on there. And then you need to shim the bearing so the bearing, there's no play in the bearing. Oh, there we go, right there. See that shim he's holding? That goes around the large outside of the bearing. When you put the cover on, it should be in there snug. So 
I thought I'd throw that in there because I'm sitting here thinking about things and I go, I know I got that article here somewhere. Now I downloaded this. And this article is from 2001, so I've tried doing a search for it. I can't find it. I'm on the Gears website right now and I can't find it anywhere. But This is by Mike Weinberg, president of Rockland Standard Gear, Inc. Then he goes over some other issues with the Borg, Borg Warner 1356 transfer case, like the planetary gear. Yeah. Anyway, good stuff.